Okay, hello everybody. Time for another video. This time I'm going to make Bird of Paradise soap and this is a nature's garden fragrance. I've already poured it off so it's a funny old lime colour but apparently this one doesn't discolour and it may slightly accelerate according to their notes which I trust because they uh, actually do make their soaps so that they can get their a good idea of how it performs, how each fragrance performs. And then they put the notes on their website, which I'm always grateful for. So I'm just using up some from the shelf in the back room. And this is one of them that's been sat there for about a year and needs to be used. So Bird of Paradise, it's pretty much a floral, but a fresh and it's a bit like Deb's Flower Shop, the one that I've used before. Um, it's kind of like green with a soft kind of it's like a yeah like a flower shop scent so another really really nice fragrance so I'm going to make the base white and I'm going to use some nice tropical colors which I'll show you in a second so Okay, so the colours I'm going to use in this, I'm going to use titanium dioxide, of course, as my base, and then I'm going to use some tropical colours to recreate colours that you find in the Bird of Paradise plant. So here is Clementine Orange, and this is from the Sopri in the UK, and I'm going to use Egyptian Blue, which is from Mica Mama. It's very nice. I've got so many blues and most of them, I, I don't know why I do it, but when I buy micas I end up buying like the same type of colours over and over again. I use them so, you know, I think we're all guilty of doing that. Then I'm going to use pistachio green, which is more like an emerald green and this is from the Sopri as well, so you can see that one. Nice bright green. And then I'm going to use rock chick red, again from Mica Mama, which is more of a very deep sort of cerise pink. So let's get the soap batter made and brought to trace and then I'll pour some off to start those colours. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to pour four of these. Four of these jugs. That to the side and okay now let's get these colors in so I want to go from the lightest color first which is probably the green Those to the side, and I'm just going to do the base white. Okay, I'm going to get my moulds ready. Just put these colours to the side, and I'm going to. Okay, because it says it might accelerate, I don't want it to catch me off guard, so I'm just going to mix in some of that colour, um, some of the fragrance, sorry. Seems to be okay. I thought it was going to rise them for a second. It seems all right now. Just bring you a bit into view a bit better. Okay, so let's get the base in. Yeah, it does look like it might try to rise. So as long as it just stays like this and that consistency is okay, the rising I can deal with. But just be aware of that. It doesn't say that in the notes, but 
goes against what I was saying at the beginning of the video. Because <laughs> it does, yeah, it's kind of a bit ricey. A bit like a rice pudding. Mm. Hmm, interesting. I suppose it always depends on your recipe, so don't always take supplier notes to be literal because everything can change depending on your own recipe. Okay, now I'm just going to put a little bit in the blue. Get that in. manageable then by the looks of things but it does move a little bit fast we're used to that here and I'm going to go in with the pink okay let's just keep going some of these for the tops. Bit of the green. Yeah, it's not wanting to go down into the soap now. What a strange consistency. I'm going to try and chop some oh, crikey. That's horrible. <laughs> Oh, wow, your notes are wrong, nature's got <laughs> Oh my god, that's horrible. I was not expecting that at all. That's gross. That is absolutely gross. Weird, because the, uh, there's other notes on there that say that... There's another lady, she's left a comment to say she's had no issue with this. And that it's so beautifully, but for me it's not at all. I'm just going to pour this orange onto the top and hope for the best now. Ooh, and soap making goes wrong, eh? Don't give us a love it. There's not really anything I can do now other than just pour this on the top. <laughs> it's really horrible. But it might not look too bad when it's finished, but this is, yeah, this is horrible. Really horrible. But we'll do our best. We'll do our best to get something out of it, but hmm, interesting. I'm going to just do this over the tops. Good Lord. It's like a lumpy custard. That's what it's like. Just like a lumpy custard. Good job I've kept some of these colours reserved back. And there's also some bits of white as well. Might be able to get some kind of swirl on the top maybe. Just don't panic. Good job I've only bought one bottle and this is it. I won't be doing that again. So if you were to use, I guess, say one colour, you might get something nice out of it, but oh. I'm not getting anything nice really. <laughs> Yeah. It's just really horrible. Really horrible. I've had one like that for a long time. What's that saying? You can't polish a turd. I was just thinking, what am I going to do with the top? I'm going to remember that saying, you can't polish a turd. So we'll do, 
we'll do what we can with what we've got. So if you get one like that, don't try and mush the topping because it just ain't going to work. It's better to leave these globules of soap on the top, I think. Make, it probably will look a bit better by doing that than it would by trying to make it have some kind of texture because the texture you can see then it's accelerated. If you see what I mean? I'll get some close-ups so you can see it. But yeah, just uh, cut your losses and don't try and texture. I've watched many videos soap making where this happens and I'm sat there thinking myself don't touch it don't touch it and I've just done exactly what I would tell somebody not to do so I've got these little bits left over that will just help it maybe a bit yeah I'm going to leave it like that I'll tidy up the edges but good lord I was not expecting that okay let me take a picture for, for you to see it Okay, now it's time to cut this disaster. Haha! <laughs> Let's have a look, see. It's a bit late, it's quarter to, well, yeah, just gone quarter to one. I've been out with the dog and saw a couple of friends, so we stopped another chat. Two metres apart, of course, in fact, more than that. But um, it was nice to see some friends. And. Oh gosh. Okay. Just take that end piece off. Yeah, I thought I might have some holes in it. We will see. There's a little hole in that first bar. There's going to be a few gaps because of that rising. But it's not the most hideous bar, but it's certainly not the prettiest because couldn't get that chopstick through it to swirl it. It can go in the reject area <laughs> and sell it a bit cheaper just because it's still a good bar of soap but it's not what I was looking for for you go, you know. I knew this wouldn't be spectacular. And it's not. <laughs> it really smells nice though. It's very, very similar to that um, that other one I mentioned. What was it? <sighs> Come on, brain. Deb's Flower Shop, that one from Nature's Garden. It's a very similar scent, but if you want one that doesn't misbehave like this one did, go for that. Just cut the rest, and then I'll do the other bars, the other loaves, sorry off camera and cut my losses. <laughs> Shame because it's pretty colours but you know it's always disappointing when things don't go to plan. So we just had some news, I just watched a bit of the news believe it or not. I was I went home after taking my doggy and the news was on, so I thought, we'll see what's going on. And it's good news, finally. The death rate has dropped significantly. So, whereas last week we were in up to the 700s mark per day, we are now around 200. So that's a significant drop, I'd say. So it looks like we had reached the peak, and now we are on the downturn. But, you know, it's still early days. We still need to be taking precautions and not act too soon, but I think seeing numbers like that today, it's definitely um, made me feel a bit more, oh, finally, finally, we're seeing what we wanted to see. So if you think about it in terms of real time, it hasn't really been that long. You know, two months isn't really that long. I'm always sort of um, in my head thinking about all the years that went by when our grandparents and our parents had to live through the war, you know? And it went on for years, and this has been a couple of months, and, you know, I know it's a different thing, and it's not a war, but, or is it? <laughs> it 
it's a different thing but even so it still caught us all off guard and made us all have to behave in a very different way and you know our lives probably won't be the same again because there'll be that threat and that fear of something like this happening again so but overall you know the time scale that that's gone on for is really really short and I mean overall when did it start January December January so five months in it's not actually that bad is it you know coming from China and then into the other countries it's not actually that that bad at all so let's not worry anymore and let's get on with what we've got to do sensibly and yeah I'm just going to continue to do what I've always done <laughs> because I'm here on my own anyway, so I'm just doing my little thing and being cautious as always. Um, well, a little bit more cautious than usual, but anyway, that's Birds of Paradise. I'll leave some pictures below of the, um, at the end of the finished bars, but yes, never mind, ta-ta.